bites rarely cause serious injury because bears communicate their anger through body language. Humans can also keep out of trouble if they can read bear behavior. A bear that looks at you directly with its ears pinned back is sending a warning that you're too close. And it's been estimated that 90% of charges are just a bluff to scare away a potential threat. That's because grizzly temper tantrums are not only dangerous, but they burn up valuable energy. They need to save every last calorie for their hibernation over the long winter. That's why bears prevent unnecessary confrontations by leaving scent markings. These bears are actually warning rivals to stay away so that they can be left in peace. But you wouldn't want to rub our next contender up the wrong way. Number two. Out on the African plain, there are lots of animals it pays not to upset, especially if they've had a bad day out hunting. Buzzing in to number two in the countdown are honeybees. They may look like ordinary bees, but when they get aggravated, they can inflict ten times as many stings as their European cousins. That's because on the plains of Africa, there are many more animals interested in stealing honey. So the bees develop their terrible temper to protect their valuable food source from marauders with a sweet tooth. African bees are also the world's most efficient producers of honey, which is why they were transported to South America. After being accidentally released in 1957, they interbred with their European cousins and became the now infamous killer bees. Africanized bees are number two in the countdown because more than 1,000 people have died as a result of the insect's terrible temper tantrum. All bees are armed with the same venom. It's just that when you disturb a hive of European honeybees, only about 50 individuals will attack. But upset a nest of Africanized bees you could find yourself attacked by a swarm of up to 30,000 insects. And since it takes just 100 bee stings to kill a human, it's just one angry mob you don't want to upset. Sometimes a crowd of panic-stricken people can be just as dangerous as a swarm of bees. That's why event organizers call in crowd control and call them all work. The triggers that can set off crowd disorders and crowd disasters are everywhere at any large event. They can turn a happy event into an angry event and a wonderful time into a disaster. Paul is an expert in what happens when crowds go bad and knows the best way to avoid injury. It's not always possible to escape from a crowd. Once you
you're trapped in the crowd, your biggest concern is surviving that crowd crush. Eye contact, hand gestures can say a lot. Try to keep your hands up, not by your side. Because once they fall to your side, the pressure will usually be so great that you can't move them anymore. So you move along this way, and you move slowly when there's a pocket. Push your way out, perhaps help somebody next to you, and eventually, hopefully, find freedom. Freeing yourself from an angry swarm of killer bees is difficult. They've been known to pursue their victims for more than a mile. But even these tiny terrors don't throw the most extreme hissy fits on the planet. Victoria's Unleashed in the USA. 